Hello everyone, this is Nick from QBM and on this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to do the fisheye dewarping. Now for the purposes of this demo we're going to do the fisheye dewarping through the view log. You can access it simply through the live view mode right here. How you would have to do that would be to just click on your fisheye camera, right click, go to your camera menu, and it drops down and underneath the picture in picture and picture around picture view would be a geo fisheye option. So the first thing we need to do is log into a user that can access the view log. Drop down to our third bubble from the right on our menu which is our view log bubble. And go to our video audio log tab. We can go ahead and ignore this warning. Here's our view log. Make sure you have your fisheye pulled up and the date and time of the event you'd like to view. Let's go to camera, then our calendar menu to pick our day, and then our events pull up and find your event time. Okay, so as you can see, our fisheye is not dewarped from here. Let's go up to the view mode button at the top. We'll go to single view and drop down to where you see geo fisheye right here and the first view we're going to look at is the simplest one and that's single view what that allows you to do is just rotate in a single view on the screen and view your camera in 360 degrees you can tilt down or up to get a different angle you can play from here and pick a different view as it's actually playing your event. Now that we've actually activated our geo fisheye view from in here, it's accessible from a right click on the camera screen. Fisheye option now appears and we can go to camera mode, the second one down, and go to our second view we're going to view which is the geo fisheye 180 degree view. What that does is bring up two screens and it's 180 degree viewable in each direction. Again, you can turn left or right from whether you're in playing or paused. And as you turn one area 180 degrees, the second one will follow to the corresponding 180 degrees behind you. Okay, let's access our fisheye option again with the right click. We'll go into camera mode and we will go to GeoVision fisheye 360 degree view. What this allows us to do is bring up two full screens and a secondary set of things we can do within this view mode. So we'll right click, go down to fisheye option, and you'll see a couple more things in your menu now. One of them is 360 degree object tracking. What you would do is go over here and make sure tracking is checked. And then if you look right here, you'll see a red box that's up. Within that camera view, it will track objects as they appear. So we'll back it up just slightly. And now you can see it tracking. And if we go even further back, we'll watch Dean come into the shot. And it's tracking him and as a secondary object comes in or person it will actually know to track them as well. Watch it switch over. And then if we go ahead and go back to our 360 degree menu with a right click, fisheye option, you'll notice that there's an adjust auto pan speed at top left. That's talking about our top left screen up here. We can go ahead and pick a high speed, medium speed, or low speed. And what that will do is do a 360 degree panning sweep of what the camera's catching. And you can do that at the same time that you're doing your object tracking. So we'll go ahead and pause and go back to when Dean comes into the picture. Let it play for just a few moments and we'll watch it pick up Dean while we're still sweeping our 360 degree view. So 
so you can catch objects or things or people that are moving around without just being locked onto one item of motion. And to turn those off, we'll go ahead and right click, go back into our fisheye option, go down to 360 degree tracking and uncheck the tracking box. And then we'll go back into our menu one more time, drop down to fisheye option, go down to the adjust auto pan speed at top left and uncheck medium speed. Now let's go to our fourth view within the fisheye option. And that's just called a quad view. What that allows you to do is to face four different directions, uh, up or down, left or right, so you can get mo maximum coverage. So if you wanted to cover four different areas, say doorways, just drag on the screen, left or right, up or down, catch your hallways or doorways. So now we have still footage in four directions capturing every entry point within a 360 degree view. Alright, thank you guys. That's how you access the de-warping feature on the fisheye, uh, both from the live view and the view log. Hope to see you on the next video.